Carolyn Zook here with Seasick Stitch and today is January 1st, 2023. It is Sunday. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch. I'm so glad that you're here spending part of your day or your evening with me. Happy New Year! Merry Christmas! Um, happy Kwanzaa! Happy Hanukkah late! Uh, whatever you celebrate, I hope you are having a wonderful celebration or had a wonderful celebration. I apologize for my absence last week. I really thought I would have time to film and I just simply ran out of time. I hosted a small uh, group uh, for Christmas Eve dinner and then my folks came in Christmas Day morning and we spent the week together. I just got back from returning them to the airport. They are in fact flying southwest so we will see. I, I've been watching uh, their flight status online and they have been delayed. Um, two and a half hours so far. So I'm hoping that they get home, but I am also on standby in case they need me to go back to the airport and pick them back up, um, which an extended visit is wonderful, but I know that they are ready to get home. They have a dog at home. Uh, I mean, the dog is boarded while they're away. They didn't leave the dog home alone, uh, but I know that they're anxious to get back and they're doing a bunch of uh, renovations on their home. So they just have a lot going on. Um, we had a wonderful, wonderful uh, visit. We got a lot done. Um, we um, built a shed, mostly my dad, but mom and I helped, uh, built a shed that I actually bought it the summer that I moved into this house. So it's been a year and a half. Uh, we finally got it built. The weather mostly cooperated. It was pretty rainy here um, over uh, the week that they were here. Uh, and there was an ice storm right before they arrived. But um, everything, we were able to finish up the shed um, in the backyard uh, in between rain showers. So that's wonderful. Another thing we did is my dad put up shelves, like picture ledge shelves in my craft room. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a, a video here of uh, the shelves. It's intended to display my... Um, stitching. I don't have a lot of it on there yet. I'll show it to you again as I as I develop it and put more stitching up, but you'll get the idea of what it looks like now. So enjoy this video. So this is a brief video of the shelves, picture shelves that my father put in for me while he was here. Um, I'm trying to avoid <laughs> you seeing too much of my desk because they are a mess right now, but this will give you an overview of kind of what it looks like. Um, I put my llama up. You're amazing. And then this is not a stitched piece. That's just a piece that I picked up when I was in Hawaii um, and had it framed. Um, so clearly I'm still working on it. I mean, they just left this morning. Um, there's that booklet I just showed. Well, I'll show you later, I guess, of from Devi. And that's my You Are So Love that I want to restitch the you are so so that you can see it better and better mm -hmm. center that and finish it up and here's my um, box that I got at StitchCon which is empty but hopefully the goal is to have this filled up and I'll be able to show you um, stitching stuff on these stitching uh, shelves in the future I just got these from um, Ikea they were like $17 a piece so I got two of them so those are the stitching shelves. I hope you get the idea, um, anyway, of what that will look like once I get more stitching put up. I love it. I think it really um, kind of helps complete or will help complete this room. Um, so we got a lot done while they were here. We got a lot of other things done as well, but um, those are just a couple of the main projects. This was a Christmas gift, 2023. They specifically bought it for me to wear during my video, so I'm going to wear it at least for a little bit. Um, I think this video is going to be a little bit on the longer side, and I still haven't filmed my um, whip parade yet, so I want to do that this afternoon as well, and then I'm taking a nap because we got up really early to take them to the airport. Um, so lots happening. Holidays were wonderful. Um, New Year's Eve was pretty quiet. Um, you know, I stay up till midnight. My folks do not. Um, but yeah, I just, I love New Year's. It's just such a time of reflection and refreshing, re refresh, uh, refresh, reset, I think is the word I'm looking for. Although I will say right before I started filming, 
I, um, I was pushing, pulling my chair in to get closer to the desk and I knocked my desk and spilled coffee everywhere. I don't think it actually got on any projects. Thankful for project bags that protect my work. Um, but yeah, so that's, we'll just chalk it up to, um, tiredness. But the traffic was light this morning on the way to the airport. So that's good. Um, lots happening in addition to the holidays. So if you've been with me for a little while, you know, I started my channel on January 1st, 2019. So today marks my four year anniversary of doing floss too. Um, and so whether this is your first video you're seeing or uh, you've been with me from the beginning or somewhere in between. I just want to thank you so much uh, for checking out my channel. Uh, if you come back every week or most weeks, I really appreciate that. I have formed such wonderful friendships uh, through FlossTube, which is really why I started it in the first place, was I wanted to meet other other people who cross-stitched. Um, and I never could have imagined um, just how wonderful those friendships would. I really, th those friendships are. Um, I really feel like uh, cross-stitchers are just the most generous, giving, um, helpful um, individuals out there. So um, I, I appreciate you coming back for four years and we're ready to start year five. In addition to that, uh, at some point, um, I'm not quite sure when it was, but at some point we hit 5,000 subscribers. So again, thank you, thank you so much for subscribing. Um, we, I'm gonna have a bunch of giveaways at the end of this video, so you wanna stay tuned to the very end where I'm gonna do a bunch of giveaways. I have 10 giveaways um, to celebrate four years on FlossTube as well as 5,000 subscribers. So again, I just want to thank everyone. Um, it's just, it means so much to me and I have so much fun and I'm going to continue doing these as long as you all are enjoying them and continue to watch. I'll continue filming them. Um, so again, thank you sincerely. I, I do appreciate all of your support and, uh, but mostly your, the, just the friendships that have developed. And it means a lot to me. And I'm really excited about what's to come in 2023 and beyond. I don't have any major plans um, in terms of, oh, we're going to switch things up or anything like that. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So um, we'll just keep going, going through the years together like this. So I just wanted to, to tell you thank you and how much I appreciate you. All right. How about some stats for 2022? I have, okay. First of all, I have a brand new notebook for 2022. I'm so excited because look at this notebook that I have been using. It is falling apart. It's, I mean, in some ways I like it. It's taped together. I don't know if you could see the tape there. This notebook, my first, this is what I use for my floss tube notes. My first entry was on February 27th, 2021. Um, and what I do in the back is I do what you can see a lot of planning, thinking things through. I start, that's my, the back of it. Um, so you can see I have big X through there. I just want to get ideas about stitching or what I'm going to do for the following year or something like that. I'll start at the back and work my way forward. And then eventually it will meet up with my floss tube notes. And then I'll be um, needing a new notebook. This year, though, it was so close to the end of the year when I finished this notebook that I thought, well, I have some pages that where I didn't go on the back side. So I just found those pages. And so it's been kind of chaotic for me because there's been no order. <laughs> there's been no order to this. But I just thought you get a kick out of this notebook that's completely falling apart. I do not save these. Um, they just take up precious space. Um, so I will check this as soon as I, as when I'm done with this video. I just wanted you to see my falling apart notebook and my fresh brand new notebook that closes properly. The spine is still intact. Although I will say there, um, some coffee got on it this morning, but what a way to, um, um, christen the new notebook, if you will, with, by spilling some coffee on it. Okay. So 2022 stats in the year 2022, I had 32 new starts in all. 32. That's a lot of new starts. 
Of those 32 new starts, I finished three of them. I abandoned one of them. That was Year in the Woods. I'm going to do something different with that. And so of the 32, I have, wait, that math doesn't work out. Oh yeah, it does. I have 28 whips. So that math, I was like, wait, that math doesn't work out, but it does. So I've added 28 whips to my total. Overall, I had 12 finishes this year, which is okay. That's about one a month. It's okay. Some of them were bigger. Some of them were smaller. So 12 finishes. I spent a total of 1,154 hours stitching this year. That is equivalent to, av well, on average, that is 96 hours a month. But it is equivalent to if I stitched 24 hours a day without stopping, I would have stitched for 48 days, uh, 24 hours a day. That's a lot. Of, I don't know. That sounds like a lot to me. But my best stitching month, and by best, I just mean most hours. Um, best stitching month was July, where I had 122 hours. And I, um, I think that can be attributed to... One, I don't work during the month of July, so I had extra time. And I did the Tour de France challenge um, on Cat Alphabet, which um, really pushed me to do extra stitching on top of my regular stitching. Um, so I think that really pushed me to have my best or most hours stitching in the month. My lowest stitching hours month, or my worst, I say worst, but it's not bad, but um, was... This month, actually, December was 73 hours. Um, you know, things just got busy um, with holidays and holiday prep and all of that. So, um, but on average, like I said, 96 hours a month, which I think is pretty good. Um, and I will be starting 2023 with 50 whips. Um, I have decided to let some go. Um, that I haven't touched in a year or two. I've let them go. I'm going to unkit them. I'm taking them off my whip list. There are still a few on that I haven't touched in a year or two, but that I really do want to um, work on eventually. I don't know when. Maybe it'll be this year. Maybe not, but I'm keeping them around for another year. They survived the cut for another year. So those are my 2022 stats. Um, I'm really happy. I am just thrilled with the progress and the finishes and getting things framed, I think was really a big thing for me this year that I'm, I'm putting more money into getting things framed and finished so I can display them, which is really exciting. Okay. So let's get into the regular part of the floss to, you know, new starts, whips, haul, all of that. Um, of most of what I'm going to show you is from, um, not this past week, but the previous week. Cause I didn't get a lot of stitching in this week. When my folks were here, just a little bit, uh, which is fine. Um, but I had three new starts since I last saw you. My first new start is Let Love Rain by Teresa Kogut. This was twofold. It was for Dina's birthday. Of uh, Dina is from Half Stitch Cross Stitch, and I will link her down below. I'm looking for the picture. Um, and it's also for the Garon Focus on a Designer for December 2022. So this is what it will look like. And I have talked about this before. Um, I, I love the piece. I don't like all the brown in it. So I have been trying to figure out how to fix that. And I will tell you how I fix that, I think. So this is just really a giant piece of... 32 count linen. It's a huge piece. It's just in cream that I have in my stash. Let me show you where you're at and then I'll, I'll talk about what I did to change it. Okay. So this is where I'm at. Um, so this was supposed to be a brown flower. Um, all of these flowers that go around the border are brown. I'm changing them out to blue. Um, I like it so far. I think it's really, really pretty. So what I am doing, let me see if I can even find, oh yeah, here we go. I can tell how well prepared I am. Can you take me seriously with my 2023 um, headband on? Maybe. Okay, so what I am doing is I'm using 926, which is this color blue. This is one of the called four colors already in the piece. Um, what I am doing is I am just 
pulling that in so it's this color which is the called for um, I'm gonna put it in up here for these flowers to go across and then the corner flowers are you know they're shaped a little bit different there's this flowers in each of the corners and it's the inside I think I think no that might be the lighter one I don't know anyway 926 called for I'm putting it up there um, I added in 924 for my darkest blue, which is going to be this flower, the outside part of that flower, and that will go on in each corner. And then, well, that's 926. There's 927, which I borrowed from another piece, but I don't have a skein of it here. It's the lighter. You can kind of see in this one how it has the medium and then the lighter that I'm going to do. And I'm going to do that throughout. I am still keeping some of the brown. You can see some of the brown, like the... I don't know, that bud of the flower, this brown will still be here. The words are in brown. So I'm going to keep some of the darker brown um, that will that will stay in there. Um, but I'm taking out a lot of the flowers that are brown. And I don't really see a lot of brown flowers, but I really like the blue. So I think that will, that will fit. That will, I'm happy with that so far. Um, yeah, so that's good. All right, so that's Let Love Rain. Next up, we have um, another new start, which is, it is a Dimensions Gold Kit. It is called A Treasured Time. This is what it will look like. I am stitching this with my good friend Robin from Bird's Eye Stitches. I will also link her below. I remember. Um, but she got this as an early Christmas present, so we decided to start on it together. I am stitching this on a 32 count silvery moon. I just replaced the fabric in the kit. It comes with everything you need, but I just replaced the fabric. I am using the kit. Um, uh, floss. So this is where I got to not super far. I think this is two days of working on the background. Um, so it's very similar to some other ones that I'm working on also by dimensions. There's some blends in there. Um, I think there was a spot where it's just used one strand that I used two, and now I have to remember how to, where that was for the next time I pull this out, but that's my start. Um, it's fun. I love the, the image. It's just that background. It reminds me a lot of actually the colors and the background it reminds me a lot of the Christmas dinner piece that I'm working on. So I'm just right up in here and I got down, you can see some of the yellow is poking through on my piece. So, um, that will come out again at some point. I'm not sure when, but that was a fun, fun to start and pull like a full, full kit. I have a drawer of kitted projects and um, I really need to focus on getting through that. And then my last new start for 2022 actually was Winter Rose Manor. This is by With Thy Needle. Um, this is what it will look like. Um, I'm starting this with uh, Jan Hicks of Jan Hicks Crate, who I saw at Acorns um, this past week on Thursday. So it was wonderful to see her. Um, I just saw her very briefly. Unfortunately, it wasn't too, too long, but, um, it was great to see her. Uh, she had a, a trunk show at Acorns. So, all right. So I switched these up. I am using the Vicki Clayton silks for this piece and I'm stitching this on a uh, 32 count Tuscan by color and cotton. I had it in my stash. It was from December, 2021 fabric club. And here's where we're at. Beautiful. And I love working with these silks. So that's where I'm at so far. Not too, too far. Um, I didn't get as much done on stitching, you know, like I said, uh, uh, this month as I had hoped. So that will go back into my whip pile and it will come out at some point, maybe um, later this year. So those are my new starts. And then my just kind of regular whips, my 25 seven piece for this month after I finished that first block of woodland Christmas, 
is Miniature Marvels. This is by Jenny Vandeweel. This is what it will look like when it's all done. This is in the World of Craft Stitching issue 315. This is what the cover looks like. Issue 315. And let me show you again what it will look like when it's all done. I think it's just a darling, darling piece. And this is where I got to. <laughs> I didn't get very far. Um, so I was stitching on this. So I did get the schools all done. The school's done. The playground is done. I put a few trees in. I actually finished this little house here. Realized it was in the wrong spot. Um, and so I had to frog the entire house. It was all done. And then I started re-stitching it down here. But that is in the right place now. Um, but you can see how far off I was. I mean, I couldn't have fudged that. So I did, um, this was the piece I worked on a little bit while my parents were here, um, Christmas day and the day after, um, just cause it was easy to frog. Um, and I did some white stitching, but that's really about all I got done on this. This is on a 28 count dove gray that I just had in my stash. So this is where we're at. So this is going to go away, um, but I love working on it. I'm sure it will come out again later this year. So that's Mini Marvels. That was my 25 seven piece, which means I work on it 25 minutes a day or thereabouts. Um, and that group is run by Melanie from Soulful Stitching. So you can join the Facebook group there. Then the other piece I worked on was Cardinal Cottage. So I met my yearly goal, which was three hours a month um, each month of the year. So I did meet that goal. This is artwork by Donna Gelsinger, and it's charted by Michelle from Hade. And this you've seen this a lot um, if you've been around. This is what it will look like. I am enjoying stitching my Hades right now in 18 count uh, Ada. I think in the future I might try an even weave as well. Um, but this is where I am at. That's where I'm at right now. So there you go. Um, I can't even remember where I stitched, but I probably just did more fill in and you can see it's getting bigger. It definitely is getting bigger. So that's fun. Um, on this piece, I did get 401 stitches in and I'm now at 1.18% done on this piece. Getting there, right? Every little bit helps, I think is what they say. So that those are my whips from the past, well, two weeks. Everything I worked on. And yeah, I look forward to starting um, some not really new thing. Well, I guess I am doing a new year, new start today, but you know, kind of working on these pieces into 2023. Okay. Let's, let's do haul. I have a basket. I had to get a basket of haul because I have a lot of haul, um, to share with you. So let me put the basket in here. Um, so this haul includes stitchy kindness, Christmas gifts, um, an order I placed with one, two, three stitch and just like regular club clubs that I, that I am in. So let's start with the clubs. So first is my MPI. This is the fine floss club from, um, that quarter shop. This is the December club and the colors are russet red. Look at those beautiful, beautiful kind of brown reds. I did just cancel this this morning, this club. So I will not be continuing it. No reason why I'm just, you know, Try not new things, and I have a bunch of these now. And, you know, for the most part, I follow, I, I use what's called for. So I just need to, um, you know, be better behaved. <laughs> I also got, I am keeping this club. Um, this is the Garon Thread of the Month Club. Again, they are reds. Really, really pretty. Um, these are cottons. Not silks, like the MPIs are silks. Sorry, they're in the packaging, and I, I just got it in the mail, so really pretty, pretty colors. I got my number 12, uh, 12 Days of Christmas Stocking Ornament Club by Annie Bees. 
this was a club I was in through uh, Crazy Annie's. So that completes that set. Super cute. I want to start them right away, but of course I'm not going to. And then I got parts two and three from the Woodland Christmas, which is another Tiny Mod, or this is designed by Tiny Modernist, but um, I'm on auto ship through Crazy Annie. So this is number two. They don't have names, so just called part one, two, whatever. Um, so this is part two with the reindeer, Rudolph. I think it's super pretty. And I love this one as well. Part three are these really pretty ornaments. So I love that. So those will go into, I'm not going to necessarily try to keep up with it each month. I mean, maybe that will happen, but I don't have plans to do that. Okay. So I think, oh, and then the last of my clubs was my fabric from, again, I just got this in the mail. My fabric from Rogue Stitching, which is another fabric club. Um, I am not doing Rogue Stitching again. I've done it the last two years. They are fantastic. Um, but um, I just wanted to try a new club, so I'm going to be doing Fortnite fabrics. So we got, this is, both pieces are by Atomic Wrench. I got two pieces because if you stay in the club all year um, through December, so if you pay for 12, you get a free piece at the end of the year. So this is called Mellow Stone, and it's a 32 count Lagana. It has some very, very subtle undertones of pink that is not being brought up on the camera. Just very, very subtle. I would not say it's pink, but it's very subtle. It's a good neutral. So I believe this is the fabric of the month. And then... I'm guessing this was the free piece. This is blush, also by Atomic Fab Atomic Ranch Fabrics. It is very pink. It is coming up as white. I don't know. It's a very soft, like baby pink. I think it will be great for like um, Valentine's Day stitching. Uh, so that will be fun. So again, I'm not renewing for this club, but they are a great club if you're looking for a fabric of the month club as well. Really, really like them. It's just time to start some try something new because I've been with them for two years. Spread spread the wealth around, right? Okay, I placed a one, two, three stitch order. This is not too exciting. I'm not gonna pull it all out. I got some fabric and some floss and some. I think this will work for cording. Um, I'm, for pieces that I'm going to be starting later this month, which I will tell you about when I start them. They're Easter pieces. Okay, next up is Stitchy Kindness. So let me show you a few more holiday cards that I got uh, in the mail. Um, this one is from Teal. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I just love that. Look at the lights on this. I just think it's such a pretty card. The cards you all get are just so pretty. And then I got this one from Sue, which I also think is oh, just a lovely, lovely card. Classic. Classic Christmas. So thank you, Sue. And then this darling little card is from Fawn and Sean of Sanctum Stitching. Isn't that darling? Oh my gosh, I squealed when I saw that because I just thought it was so pretty and cute little snowflake on his nose. So those were my holiday cards that I got. So thank you so much, everyone. Um, okay. I have to show you this amazing, I'm going to be careful with it. Debbie is amazing <laughs> and sent me, okay. So first of all, I have, these are from Moe's Sale, beautiful, um, what is it called? Frozen Pond Silk. 17.4 yards and I got two skeins of them. Isn't that beautiful? Look at all that variegation in there. So beautiful and they're so, so soft and lovely. And then Debbie sent me, she made this um, journal. It says Jolly Holidays, I think. Um, but look, she made, she made this. She put all these pieces together and I just want to show you like the amount of time, like these little flaps, these little 
tags that come out here. I mean, couple, how stinking cute is this? I think this is beautiful. It's so creative. And, you know, as crafters, you know that these things take so much time and energy and effort. And these, and this is like very interactive, right? So you can write in it as a journal, keep track of whatever you want. There's this page. I just love these vintage. She knows me so very well. And then there's a bunch of these tags in here that you can keep notes on. Um, I mean, and then, oh, there's one more page, um, with more tags in here that I can, again, keep notes on and a lovely little message. And then the back, Debbie, this is incredible. Um, uh, I love it. And I will absolutely treasure this. This just makes my heart happy. Um, a hundred percent. So thank you so very much for this. I'm thinking I could put it on my stitching shelf um that's right above you right now so thank you thank you thank you um next up is a christmas gift i got from my good friend andrea we are starting band samplers together on february 1st so if you would like to join us and you have a band sampler uh feel free to join us but um I saw this one and we were kind of chatting back and forth i was like this is a really pretty one this is by works by abc it's called 1544 band sampler. I think it is so pretty. But I'm not a sampler stitcher, right? <laughs> but she got me this. And then she had the fine gentleman at Garan kit it up. And I'm missing some of it. Okay, here we go. That's not it. Okay. So they kitted it up with this beautiful Witchell light, light antique blue banding. It's a very light blue, very pretty. Uh, this is obviously not the called for. They changed the colors to Chester's blue, because blue is in fact my favorite color. And then they also sent, well, this is all from my friend Andrea, this um, darling, um, what is it? Bell pole holder with the snowman. So if you can imagine how this will all look together, I mean, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. I just think that's so thoughtful when, you know, people pay attention to what you say and, you know, think about, think about you. I mean, that's the point of a gift, right? Is that they think, hey, Carolyn might like this and her blue is her favorite color. So let's change it to blue. So I'm going to be starting this February 1st, which I'm so excited about. Um, next up. Okay, so that was a Christmas gift. I guess, let me do the other Christmas gifts I got from my friend Sam, who, Sam, who is not a stitcher, but you've heard me talk about her a lot. She fully supports my stitching. <laughs> um, she, um, she and Andrea, she introduced me to Andrea, essentially. Um, but from Christmas, Sam got me these two charts that were on my wish list. Um, this one is by Kohler Polar um, Design Studio. Um, it is Fiesta Wear. I have Fiesta Wear. I recently got, when I moved into this house, I changed out my dishes to Fiesta Wear. It's a little hard to tell on that. It's just a, a, a computer generated, but um, it's Fiesta Wear. So I love that. And she kitted it all up with all the floss for me. So wonderful. So excited about that. So I got that for Christmas. And then I also got, I know Kim and T, Kim from Stitch and Stuff and Tina from Tina Stitches are working on this. And um, I got this as well. This is a Dimensions Kit Simplicity Vintage. I love it. And it comes with everything you need. I will probably change out the fabric. But otherwise, it's, um, I just love it. I think it's beautiful. So I got that for Christmas as well. Okay, so then... Rosewood Manor came out with a new piece that I had to have because it's gorgeous. And um, I ordered it from Garon. It is Blue Rhapsody. I mean, I think the stitching part is gorgeous, but also it's in blue. It calls for just two blues. So um, by the time I went to order, Garon was out of one of the blues, but I got um, Weeks by Works Navy. 
So I just need to get the other blue. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to start on this, but um, I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. Maybe for Sampler September, I will start on it. And then I went to Acorns to see Jan, like I said, and the lovely Sue had gifted me a very generous gift card to Acorns and Threads, um, and which is so lovely of, of her. And Sue, thank you again so much for that. And I decided it was time for me to, to buy this. Um, I would not have bought it if it weren't for Kyle Reckmeyer um, from Stitching and Sound, who I saw, I watched him stitch this, and then he recently reposted it on Facebook. And it's like, okay, I just need to get it. It's Hannah Sanderson, 1849. Um, so this is what I bought, Sue. I bought with your gift card. Um, your gift card covered the whole chart. This stitch count is 275 wide by 364 high. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the words. It's a him. I don't know if I'm going to do them or not or just start, you know, where the designs start. So I haven't quite decided yet. Um, this is by Dutch Treat Designs, and I absolutely love it. Um, but I'm not a sampler stitcher. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep denying it. So thank you. Thank you. So that is... My bin is empty, so that's great. So that is my haul, plenty of haul from the past two weeks. Okay, let's talk plans now, and then we'll do the giveaways. So Bringo from uh, the Magazine Monthly Club, Club, Magazine Monthly Cross Stitch Group on Facebook, which I co-run with my dear friend Robin, we started Bringo. Um, I made the first call last night, so it officially starts today. I talked about Bringo, I think it was two videos ago, so not the last one, but the previous one near the end of that video. I go into a lot of detail explaining how it works. It is not too late to join us. Um, we make 25 calls, so from January 1 through January 25th, and then you have the last six days of the month to do any makeup days that you need to. It's one hour of stitching or a hundred stitches, whichever you do, um, on each call. So we give you a prompt, you find a piece that fits that prompt, you create your bingo board. Um, so bringo started today. So today's call is number five, which is a whip or new start with words. And mine is her side Christmas. However, today is Sunday, um, which, and it's, January 1. So I am not going to be doing my WIPCO calls on Sundays because most Sundays I am saving for a winter montage, which you will notice I was supposed to start or was going to start in December. I did not get to it. So I will be starting this next su Sunday. Um, but for my new year new start today, I'm starting Meditation Garden by Jan Hicks of Jan Hicks Creates with Fawn from um, Sanctum Stitching. So we're gonna start this together. I have a piece of uh, Fortnite Fabrics Cozy Cave that I started G Legere on. Um, and this piece is actually too small for that, but it will fit Meditation Garden. So I'm gonna take out those beautiful Soie de Jay <laughs> stitches um, and do meditation garden on this, which is a really close, actually very close. Um, it's a great fabric for it. So I will be starting this tonight, um, with fun. So super excited about that. So that will be our new year, new start. Um, and then at the end of the month, what I'll do is I'll make up each of my Sunday calls. Um, so next week we will talk about starting winter montage. My 25 seven piece for this month, um, because it's appropriately titled is happy new year by the Victoria sampler. Let me hold it up. I have that first section done. It goes quite fast if you just sit down and devote some time to it. So I think this is appropriate, especially for the month of January. So I'm going to work on this hopefully the entire month or most of the month anyway for my 25 seven piece. And let me show you where I'm at. So I'm there. So the first section is done. I think I have one more row of specialty stitches before I can start the next one. 
But look at that glitter. I mean, it's beautiful. It's a fun piece for the new year. So that is what I'm going to work on. And then I guess the rest of the calls, I don't know. It's, I mean, I'm only, I did a, a video where I showed the six pieces that I'll be working on for Bringo. Um, so you'll be seeing those six pieces throughout this month, but in what order, I don't know until I make the call. So that's my stitching for this week. Um, we're actually making pretty good time here because I still want to stitch, or stitch, I still want to film my, um, Whip Parade, which I'm going to do right after this. But let's talk giveaways because we are celebrating four years and 5,000 subscribers. Um, I have a bunch of giveaways. Um, and so you might want to pause and go get a pen and paper or your phone or whatever it is that you keep notes on because you're going to want to track words um, that I'm going to tell you if you want to enter for specific charts. There are charts. Um, most of these are going to be open worldwide. There are a couple just because they're bulky. They have to be U.S. only. Um, but I will um, tell you that. Um, I will email you. I generally don't comment on people's comments like, hey, you are you won. Um, because it's meant to for people who watch my videos, right? Um, and so I usually give a couple of weeks. Like if I don't hear from you this week, I'll, I'll say, hey, I'm still looking for so-and-so next week. Now, those of you who know me and have one for me, you know, um, one of my um, areas to work on is sending these out very timely. So if you can bear with me, I'm hoping because this semester should be a bit slightly better than, next, than last semester was. I hope to be better about that. Um, but just know I, I, I will get them out. I am not scamming you. It's just, it's not a strength of mine. Okay. All that said, don't say giveaway or anything like that. We don't want to trap trolls. I want these pieces to go to people who will actually want to stitch them. Okay. So first up, um, how will I do this? Okay. So I'll just go in order. So there are 10 give giveaways. So basically two for each, well, one for every 500 of you. How about that? Um, okay, so this first one is a Teresa Kogut. It is Bunny and B. Bunny and B. Um, this is 63 by 36. And the word for this, if you want to be entered to win this, is Bunny. B U N N Y. Okay, my stash is starting to fall down. <laughs> so, Bunny, if you want to stitch that. All right, next up is Mistletoe Loitering Society by Lindy Stitches. Isn't this cute? Um, most of these I bought just, just for the giveaway. So um, these aren't, most of these aren't things that, you know, they're, they're newer charts, basically. Mistletoe Loitering Society by Lindy Stitches. It is 91 stitches wide by 103 high. I think it's really cute with the little kitty cat. Um... For this one, say Lindy, if you would like to win it. Say Lindy, and her name is right up there, L-I-N-D-Y. All right, next up is a Plum Street Samplers. This is 1831 Christmas. This is what it will look like, that darling sheep. Um, if you want to win this, say Christmas. Christmas. All right, next up is a kitted project. So this one will be U.S. only just because it's a bit bulkier. This is Biggie B by the Bee Cottage and isn't he super cute? It come, you'll get the DMC called for. I think they're all in there. Um, and an eighth yard of 28 count summer khaki linen is what it comes with. And the piece, um, let me see how big it is. The piece of fabric you have should be plenty big. You can probably even fit something else on it. Um, there's also a couple of little buttons. I can't even see it. A couple of little buttons that come with it. Um, there's some back stitching on this. This is 63 by 63. 63 wide by 63 high. So you will have more than enough fabric to, you can probably stitch this a couple of times. So if you want to win this, say B. B E E, US only, please. 
next up is this one I got off the freebie. No. Did I get it off the freebie table? I want to say I got it off the freebie table at StitchCon. Um, so it is ink circles after the roses. I grabbed it because I already have it. And there is a piece of 18 count ivory Ada in there for you to stitch it on. Um, it has my name. It says Carolyn. This is not my handwriting. Um, so that's why I was like, wait, did somebody send this to me? So I apologize if you sent it to me. Maybe somebody sent it to me. So I apologize. I didn't, I'm usually really good about putting sticky notes on it if people send me things. Um, but this is not something I bought. How about that? Um, but it will come with a fabric. It is 18 count ivory Ada fabric. Oops, sorry. I was kind of flipping you all off there. Um, and if you want to win this, say rose, just one rose by ink circles. I think it's a beautiful piece. This one, because it is bulky, US only, please. All right. Next up is Beautiful Things by another one by Lindy Stitches. I have this. I am working on this. This is one of those I just haven't touched. I don't know why, because I really love it. I love the saying. It says, oh, my darling, it's true. Beautiful things have done some scratches, too. Um, so this I I might have picked up off the freebie table. I don't think I bought this one. I think I picked it up off the freebie table, probably at StitchCon. Um, for, so for this one, say beautiful. Please say beautiful if you would like to win this one. I really like it. And then maybe you can help encourage me to pull mine out and stitch on it. All right, this next one is one, this is a used one. Um, you saw me finish it. It is in excellent condition. I make working copies of 99.9% .9 of my charts. So this is Trimming the Tree by Bendy Stitchy. Um, you saw me finish it in December, I believe. Trimming the Tree, I don't know why it's kind of dark, but, um, and if you would like to win this, say tree really cute. This one is 73 wide by 71 high. And that one's open internationally. This next one is a U.S. only because it is a kit. This is called um, Caroline. It is a Buttons and Beads Mill Hill kit. Caroline. Comes with everything you need, including that little dog. Is it a Scotty dog? I don't know. I'm not good with my dogs. Um, but it has the threads, it has the beads, it has the button and the directions, and this is what it will look like. So if you would like to win this U.S. only, say Carol. Carol. Um, two more. Two more. Um, this one I also have. I have not started it yet, so maybe we could do this together. This is a Dimensions Gold Collection Kit. It is Christmas Village Ornaments. I bought an extra one for you. Um, you get all six ornaments or directions, charts for all six ornaments. You get the floss and the fabric as well. Brand new kit. Uh, I love these. I think these are so darling. Um, if you would like to win this, this is US only because it is so bulky, which I apologize for. Say village, village. And last but not least, this is open internationally. I have an extra Winter Rose Manor by With Thy Needle and Front Thread, um, which you just saw. Um, so if you would like to say this, say this, win this, say winter, winter. Okay, so this one is 182 wide by 181 high. Everything's about to fall off my desk here. So winter. So those are our 10 giveaways. I hope you enjoy those. I Best of luck to you for winning those. Um, and I plan to be back next week, but uh, I hope that you will stay tuned. Um, I, I'm going to film the whip parade today, but there's going to be a little more editing and I'm going to need a nap. So um, it's just New Year's Day afterward, after all. But I think probably if I get it filmed, I'm guessing in the early part of this week, you will see that uh, 2022 whip parade. All right, everyone, thank you again so much for sticking with me for four whole years, and there are 5,000 of you, and you're all wonderful, and I'm just so incredibly grateful. Um, I hope you have a wonderful 2023, and I hope it is a kind year to you. I'll see you next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.